AITA for laughing in my husband's face? So I F. 32. Have been married to my husband M. 34. For six years. Before we got married he had me sign a prenup stating that our financials would always be separate. And the only thing we would share was an expense account to pay for household related fees. The reason for this was because he was making pretty good money and I was in graduate school so my financial situation was pretty bad but I signed nonetheless because I understood he wanted to protect himself. Anyway fast forward to now. I've been out of school for about four years and I make more than three times as much as he does. I never asked how much he makes and he's never asked me either. Anyway two weeks ago I told him that I was thinking about buying a new car as one I had. Was really old since I had had it since my undergraduate days. He wasn't really interested and just told me to get whatever I liked. So a week ago I decided to make the plunge and get an Audi. I was pretty excited as I had always wanted one. At the time my husband was on a business trip. He got back yesterday. And I showed him my car. He was really happy for me. However later he asked me what my monthly payments were as the Audi was pretty new. At this point I told him that I had made the purchase in cash and that I had no monthly payments. He was taken back and asked with what money and I answered that I made more than enough money to be able to afford it. He didn't talk after that and I thought that was that. However after a few hours he came back to me and told that he thinks we should void the prenup. This is where I might be the asshole I laughed in his face and asked him why I would agree to that. And his answer was that we're married and should share our financials. So I told him that we've been married for six years and yet we've never shared financials and I was fine with what we were doing. And his sudden change of heart was very suspicious. He called me a bunch of names and stormed out and didn't come home and and I guess he told his family about our fight and they called to berate me and say how he supported me while I was in school. He didn't. And now I'm wondering if I was the asshole? Edit. I knew his salary when we got together. However he's since gotten promoted and at first when I used to ask he would make comments that it was rude of me to ask how much he made so I stopped. He's never really been interested in my career or job and we don't bring our work home. The reason I make 3x what he makes. I made the assumption from what I knew his salary had been is because I work as a CRNA and he works as a software engineer. Edit 2. I didn't expect so many comments. Thanks everyone for sharing your opinions. This post has really made me question everything in my life. I think I'm going to take a leave of absence from my work to sort out my life. My husband was only my second relationship and I guess I was too caught up in school work and debt to really see that my marriage was a sham. I'm not blameless which is hard to swallow. So I am going to have conversation with my husband and see where we go from here if anywhere. Last edit. Since it's been a point of contention I'm gonna clear up a few things. I make 175 an hour and work between 40 to 48 hours a week. From what I know he made about 90k when we got together I'm sure it higher now. He also works less hours. We live in a state that is not expensive so my monthly contribution is about 1000 to 1200 a month. He had some property in Nay so he wanted to protect that and I had debt from school. He did too but mine was bigger. NTA. I would have laughed too. But I find it very strange you both have no knowledge of the other's finances. He wanted the prenup and he got it. Don't back down. So he wanted the prenup initially to protect his money because you didn't have much. And now you have more money he wants to void the prenup so he can have more of your money? Hmm. No wonder you laughed in his face. NTA. 100% NTA. 
now that he knows you make enough money to pay cash for an Audi. He wants in on that action. No. Don't do it. And don't let his family do it. He was perfectly happy with the financial situation prior to this. Suddenly he's not. And he's calling you names. Walking out in you. And getting his family involved? All because he found out you can buy a car with cash? Nope. What happened to his love? Sue. NTA. Not gonna lie. You two don't sound like partners. You sound like you're against each other in life. Take this change of heart as the red flag that it is and consider how you want to proceed. NTA. Interesting how things change once he figures out that you made more money than him. I think your hubby just met karma. Serves him right. Don't let anyone guilt you. I would suggest some marriage counseling because I'm not sure your marriage can survive his ego. NTA, he thought he was being slick with the prenup. And he thought all this time that he was making more than you. Now you've burst his bubble. He's ta here not you. But now watch him try to penny pinch everything you do together. If you want to go out, you're paying. If you buy a new oven, he'll want more than half because he doesn't cook. Or if you go on a trip, he'll keep score of everything he paid for and ask you to Venmo him. I don't know how you're married to someone like this, but tell him what you make is none of his business. You contribute your half just as you always have. You're not an asshole for making good money and for not sharing it. If it was the other way around, he made you sign a legal document that he wouldn't share it with you. Don't let his shitty financial situation fuck you both up. Even if he's fine with money, he will think this means he has more money. And he doesn't. You do. NTA. I would have laughed too. Now that it is no longer to his benefit. Of course. He wants to void the prenup. Haven't you figured out that what is his as his and he considers what is yours as his? As long as his financials were protected. The prenup was fine. Now that he sees you as a cash cow. He wants to void the prenup. You have every right to be suspicious because. Reread what I wrote. BTW. It is none of his family's business. It always astounds me how the family gets involved when it is not their fight. And obviously, they don't have the full story. He did not support you while you were in school. It was nice while it lasted but, now that you are making so much more money, this marriage is over. NTA. If he told them he supported you while you were in graduate school thus lying to them. Even he knows that if the full truth came out, he would be judged the asshole by his family. NTA. Sounds like an ex of mine that wanted to split expenses proportionately. Since I made rather more than he did. Which was fine for many months. Right up until I was laid off and we hit a month where he had to pay more and then he wanted to go. 50 to 50. Sorry your husband's greed is showing. Not that the terms of that prenup didn't make his selfish approach to your marriage rather clear. NTA the prenup stays. And I wouldn't let him borrow the Audi either. NTA. Prenup as prenup. No point in changing the rules after the fact. Especially if the rules might change to your detriment. Of course you can redo the prenup. If both of you bring all assets to the table. And negotiate a deal fair to both parties. But I suspect that wouldn't be the case. NTA. Seems like he wants it to be. What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine too. Tell him the prenup will last as long as the marriage does. Which doesn't have to be forever. NTA and I'd also say this is a bit of a location flag he wasn't willing to share finances when he thought he was making more than you but now that he knows you make more he wants to share, I wouldn't even 
give getting rid of the prenup a second thought if I were you. Should anything happen to your relationship and you split it will be bitter and dirty. Trust me I work in family law and divorce brings out the worst in people. NTA. Don't share a penny and I'd genuinely be reconsidering the relationship if he's throwing this much of a tantrum and if it matters that much to him. Just means he never trusted you not to take half his money and leave him and bonus points. Considering you don't even have shared accounts for anything aside household expenses. Do expect this problem to get worse as you get older and your lifestyle differences become prevalent and he starts to resent you. You could do so much better lol. NTA. That was his idea to keep it separate. The laugh was well deserved. I'm not married but doesn't a prenup owe my deal with before marriage stuff though? 1. Don't ever break that prenup. Or at least until it's clear what his intentions are. Even then I'd say. There shouldn't be any need. 2. His family getting involved is. Surprising. Is this always the case when you disagree? Does he always go to them and then they berate you with his version of things in sight only? 3. You sound awesome. Keep vibing. You're doing great. Glad you were able to get that car you wanted. Self gifts feel fantastic. NTA clearly the moment he realized you made more money. I ain't saying he's a gold digger but. NTA. He wanted the prenup when it would have benefited him and you went along with it despite being. Unsure about it. Now it doesn't benefit him anymore he doesn't want it. Tell him and his family to suck it. NTA. Sounds like he is living under the mentality of, what's mine is mine. And what's yours is also mine. Which is not at all how it should work. Stick to your guns. NTA. He, supported, you by at that time specifically making a prenup because he viewed you as a possible. Moocher off of his success. Now you're successful. And he wants to mooch off of your success and is mad you won't let him. There are reasons for prenups that work and are respectful I do believe that. But yours wasn't now he's trying to involve his family in harassing you to get his way. It might be time to check out or spend some big bucks on therapy to make it work if you want it to. Work. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.